Welcome back to Visibility Hacking Radio. Well, hello, Visibility Hackers. Today, we're returning to a topic close to our hearts and integral to our work. Yep, that's right. We're talking about camera confidence again. And this time, we're taking it a step further by answering your questions and sharing some resources that have helped me and many others immensely in their camera confidence journeys. Welcome to Visibility Hacking Radio, where we empower visionary leaders to amplify their message, ignite their mission, and unleash their movement. Are you ready to create a lasting impact and reach new heights? Let's dive in. Hosted by Toronto's own Molly Dorst, a seasoned expert in out-of-the-box branding for visionary leaders, Visibility Hacking Radio brings you valuable insights, powerful strategies, and actionable tips from leading experts and entrepreneurs. Get ready to be inspired informed and transformed as we dive into today's episode of visibility hacking radio amplify your message ignite your mission and unleash your movement Let's jump straight in with our first question from Ella an impact-based entrepreneur from California Ella asks I'm really nervous about appearing on camera how can I overcome my nerves? Fantastic question, Ella. Let's get into an answer. First things first. Remember, it is totally okay to be nervous. It shows that you care about what you're doing. To manage those nerves, prepare as much as you can. Know your material. Rehearse it in front of a mirror. Better yet, in front of a trusted friend. Make sure you're comfortable with your setup. Confidence often comes from competence, and preparation helps build that competence. Our next question is from Louis, a sustainability-focused entrepreneur from Brazil. Louis asks, how can I be more authentic on camera? I love this question. Being authentic on camera starts with being yourself. Remember that your audience connects with who you are, It's not about putting on a perfect performance. It's about sharing your passion, your story, your truth. Also, practicing regularly helps you to relax and lets your true personality shine through. Before we move on to the next question, I want to share a resource that I have found incredibly helpful. It's Amy Cuddy's TED Talk on the Power of Poses. It's about how your body language shapes who we are. And it has some great tips for boosting your confidence before big presentations or before a recording session. I highly recommend it. Now on to our third question, which comes from Fatima, a social entrepreneur in Kenya. She asks, how can I improve my on-camera presence? Well, one way to improve your on-camera presence is to focus on your energy. Remember, the camera can dull out your energy a bit, so you might need to dial it up a notch or turn it up to 11 when you're recording. Also, make sure that you engage with your audience as if they're there, right there with you in the room. Ask questions, make eye contact with the camera, and open up. Be useful with that open, inviting body language. All right, before we close out this episode, I have one last quick resource to share with you. If you are new to the world of digital marketing, definitely pick up the book Video Marketing for Dummies. It's packed with practical advice on all things video marketing, including building camera confidence. But that's it for today, Visibility Hackers. Remember, building camera confidence is a journey. Every step you take in front of the camera, you're getting better. Keep going and keep sharing your message with the world. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you in our next one. Until I do, remember I love you and be excellent to each other. Another fantastic episode of Visibility Hacking Radio comes to a close. We hope you've gained valuable insights and tools to help you on your journey to greater success. Stay informed and ahead of the curve by subscribing to our newsletter at visibilityhacking.com slash newsletter. You'll receive the latest news, updates, and exclusive content to support your message, mission, and movement. And remember to subscribe, rate, and review the podcast. Until next time, be excellent to each other.